If this is your first time using StockTrack in your class, this video will walk you through the basics of navigating the platform and placing your first trade. Let's get started. On the student dashboard, you can view an overview of your virtual portfolio under the Trading Portfolio widget. Just below, you can see your current holdings under the Open Positions widget. Use the drop-down menu to view the other security types you're holding. Below that is the Watch List widget, where you can track ticker symbols before buying, and a Market Snapshot, where you can quickly check top gainers and top losers. Under the Investing Research tab, you have access to several research tools to get an overview of the financial markets, more detailed information about publicly traded companies, as well as viewing mutual fund and ETF research tools. The Symbol Lookup page will help you get the ticker symbol of any publicly traded company. Search by company name to get their unique ticker symbol and their financial information. View financial statements, analyst ratings, share performance, and more to discover if this is a good buy. The Stock Screener is a great tool to compare companies within the same industry or market cap. Click Filters to adjust the parameters to narrow your search. When you're ready to place a trade, click Stocks, ETFs, Cryptos from the Portfolio Simulation menu. You can access all the other security types enabled in your class from this menu as well. On the trading page, you can update the security type, region, and exchange at the top of the page, depending on what's been enabled in your session. Next, enter the ticker symbol. The interactive chart will display the company's recent price history to help visualize what price to set. Under Action, choose whether you want to buy, sell, short, or cover when placing a trade. Update the total quantity you want to buy in the field just below. Under Order Type, choose if you want to purchase shares at the current market price or choose one of the other options. If you keep the default market order, you won't need to select the price or duration. When you're done entering all the information, click Review Order to finish placing a trade. Trade notes might be mandatory in your session. If so, you'll need to explain why you're placing this trade to continue. Congratulations, you've just placed your first trade. If you're ready to place another trade, click Trade Again to reopen the trading page. Otherwise, click View Your Portfolio to view your open positions. Under the Portfolio Simulation menu, you have access to more detailed information about your portfolio. The Portfolio Summary page will provide a breakdown of your available cash, your current buying power, the market value of your holdings, how many trades you have left in your session, and more. Other useful pages are your transaction history, order history, trade notes and graph my portfolio to see your historical trading data and how you're performing compared to industry benchmarks. Your open positions are where you can see your current holdings and review how well each investment is performing. From here, you can see charts of your holdings, view one year, 30 day or one day charts. Under the standard view, click the icon beside the ticker symbol to view more detailed information. In this financial simulation, the real-time data has a 15-minute delay to respect the rules of the stock exchanges. So, after you place a trade, it will take 15 minutes for the pricing information to appear on screen. If you're holding other security types, you can view your other holdings by choosing the right type from the drop-down menu. Under Actions, you can close your position, go to the Interactive Charts page, or view company news by clicking one of the three icons. Click the first one to return to the trading page to sell off all or some of your shares. If you want to see how your portfolio is performing compared to everyone else in your session, go to Portfolio Ranking. There you have it. Now you know how to place a trade, how to graph your portfolio, and view portfolio rankings. 
it's time to start building your own diversified portfolio. Thanks for watching.